Hey everybody, I've got this uh, lightweight brand mini air die grinder set. This thing was on sale at Tractor Supply for super cheap, so I grabbed it. I'm going to see how it works. Go ahead and pull all the parts out of here and unbox it. It says this thing comes, of course, with the, with the grinder. Uh, it's got the uh, quarter inch shank grinding stones, eighth inch shank grinding stones, collets, hand wrenches, some cutoff wheels, hex wrench, mandrels, and adapters. All right, here it is. So we're gonna we're gonna hook it up to the uh, to the air and stuff. Uh, but to operate this thing, just for starters, you gotta push that down and then and then it'll go. Now what they give you here, you can see inside that there's already a collet in there, but they give you a smaller collet as well. And what that does is that'll hold these these smaller tools like this, and they'll just slide down in there, and then they you can tighten them up. And the bigger ones fit the larger diameter stemmed pieces like that. Of course, you got to loosen it up before you, before you do that. And they give you two wrenches for a reason because this one is going to go around there. And this one goes here. You kind of want to use these, uh, work, work these together. And you can, you can kind of, I'll show you in a second here, but this... Hold the one here and then loosen up the other. And now you can see it'll make for an easy, easy fit for that. And then just tighten that up while holding this wrench here around the base of the threads. Give it a little extension there. Not too much. You know, the less the less extension you have that you can get away with for whatever you're doing, the better. That way if it starts to bend a little bit, it's not doing that. Or, you know, to reduce the uh reduce it uh, the chances of it bending too but there and then we just tighten it up like that and then what you can do is just use these ones you don't really have to just reef on them real bad you can just kind of snug them down like that there we go now now we're ready to rock and roll with something like that I, i'm not going to use this tip right away uh, i want to try i'm curious to see how these cutting discs work i've never I've used die grinders a lot uh, with, with things like this for welding, grooming welds, um, which, you know, the stones, the stone tips, this is not for grooming metal. You'd want to use a, like a metal bit, a burr bit uh, for deburring. But <clears throat> I'm curious to see how these metal cutting wheels will work. Oops. I will. This, these things work great for, uh, for certain applications. But here, uh, this, the disc will... These things are made to, to facilitate the, the discs. And it comes with an Allen wrench too, which fits this top here. And then we'll go ahead and put this on there and fit up a wheel. Again, that's kind of my main use for this, uh, immediate use for it. This thing will be, these things are so useful. You can use them for so many different things. They're really nice to have. And we'll go ahead and tighten that down. And hopefully, yeah, this wrench here. These you want to make sure they're super snug. Okay. Tell me you didn't give me a wrench for the base of that. That's no big deal. I can, uh, you can just hold that there and then tighten it with this. Crank it down. These you want to make sure they're snug. And then that'll just. Loosen this one up. Take that out of there and we'll put this in. Crank that down. If you're doing this stuff, wear eye protection, gloves. These things will cut you. And then this is an air-powered tool too. So there's not going to be any forgiveness in this when it comes to cutting through your hands. Wear all your all your protective equipment that you can. Ear protection, eye protection, hand protection, all the above. But yeah, let's give this a shot and see if it'll serve my purpose. I got some cut out some things to cut out. I just want to see how these one, how these wheels hold up, and also how this thing operates uh, for cutting stuff out. Here we've got uh, an oil daily uh, arrow here pointing pointing down here. So it looks like we put the oil in here. 
loosen that. Okay, depending on what kind of air hose you got, what kind of size connector you got, you're gonna need to get one of these. This doesn't come with the pack. This is, you're gonna need this. And so um, the back end of this actually just comes with a, a little, like a thread saver there. So it doesn't get galled up or no dirt gets in there. That just kind of screws right off. You can toss that. And then you're gonna need to buy the connector for your air hose, uh, which I have here. And if this was gonna be permanent, I'd put some, some nylon tape on there, Teflon style tape, but I'm not too worried about it. You know, with these air fittings and stuff, you can just kind of hand crank them down as is. That's how I use them. I just pulled this off my air hose, but I'll go ahead and crank that down there. Here's the quick disconnect from the end of my air hose to the compressor, and that'll just fit right in there like that. So again, before you buy one of these, or when you buy one, make sure that you, maybe if you don't know what size it is, they, they sell some variety packs, which I've picked up at, at Tractor Supply too. Um, just different, different fittings for your compressor, for your air hoses. Let's go ahead and hook this up and give it a go. That thing cut pretty good actually for the leaf i'm gonna go ahead and clean it all up real good uh with the grinder but it that cutting wheel worked really good for for cutting stuff out so kind of thinner metal but worked awesome